Welcome back again to Soul Records Presents After the Show, the best show in the world, as I always tell you. Today I got a very special guest on the show. Today I got Brother Tone on here, yes, who is definitely unbelievable. When you hear about some of the things that Tone has already done and some of the things he's about to do, you know, he's um, just a dynamic guy. Let me introduce myself and yourself to him. Hey, Brother hey, Tone, how, how you doing? How you feel today, bro? Okay, I'm fine. You okay. know, I know your actual name is Anthony Jenkins. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, that's you know, the government. Yeah, that's yeah, the that's the government name. Right. I ain't even putting your government it's name all good. out there it's like all that. Good. But, you know, I know you're such a talented guy. You know, a lot of people don't know. Uh, one of the songs that you helped pen was um, I Get Lifted. Yeah, I got, yeah, that was for Two Times Strong uh, with Melody, um, they, um, Derek Fillard. You know, they had a long side, you know, back in the day. We just sat down and, you know, we was at my grandmom's house. And they said, yo, can you help me put this together? I was like, let's get it. So, you know, we wrote it. Next thing I know, it was like everywhere. So I've been, I've been doing this. I've been doing it ever since, you know. Music is music is what I do, baby. That's, you that's your calling, you know. Yeah, and definitely. you mentioned lawn side back in the old days, Loretta, um, had a, a place in the I called the Redders High Hat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's back like with that. the whip. Yeah. The whip with whip. Well, Jen, when Jack in the Box was there. You yeah, know, absolutely. I <laughs> but, you know, Kenny Gamble originally used to perform down there with okay. it before he started Philadelphia International Records with Leon Huff. Okay. He had a group called Kenny Gamble and the Romeos. And the Romeos, yeah. yeah. I remember that. You yeah. know, you're a pretty wise man to know a lot, you know. Yeah. You must have came yeah. out your mother's womb <laughs> knowing about music or something. I've been around, you know, um, I've actually been around all those people, so you know, being in being in music, you get to meet everybody, you know. So uh, I know all those Kenny Gamble, and I know him, you know. Uh, I was a little kid, uh -huh. but when you say the names, they like you know the faces just pop up, like you know, like it was yesterday. So you know, now I know you're talented, you know, in R and B, and also with hip hop because right. I'm familiar with. Um, Thomas uh, Freeman and Nate Banks Jr. Okay, yeah, um, in 888, that's my man. Yeah, they yeah. have um, put together a hip hop great migration documentary, which right. they got everybody in the world in it. Right. right. And my understanding is you are in it also. Oh, um, yes, he with, did. He, he 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 threw me up in there. I was I was honored. You know what I mean? Um, to be amongst the greatest. He's got, you know, he's got the best that ever did it in there. So for him. You know what I mean? To um, allow me to participate in something like that was an honor. You know what I mean? Um, you have to be somebody to be in it. You know what I mean? Like, everybody is somebody that's in it, you know? And I just look at me as the average, you know, I'm just, I'm just me, you know? He was like, yo, come on, I need you in this, so. Yeah, that's, that's great, because, yeah. you know, they um, said they have interviewing and have interviewed and are interviewing everyone from Queen Latifah, Nicki Minaj, you yeah. know, and Redman, uh, LL, Meth. He's he 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 did the thing with this. You know, when you say hip hop's migration, I don't think there's not. I don't think there's a rock that's unturned. You know what I mean? Like he really did his thing. Yeah, because I've seen um, some of the uh, first segments of it, and you're really correct. I mean, they did a fantastic oh, yeah. job on that. And you hear things in, in, in that documentary that I promise you, you cannot get anywhere. Like, it should have been a book. It would have been a bestseller, like, for hip-hop. Like, I, I don't even know how to put it in words. Uh, it was ingenious what he did and how he put it together and the people that he used for it, you know, because... The people that he used are the real essence of hip hop, like the real deal. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So you hear you hear in depth um, stories about things that go on within um, the hip hop community and outside. I mean, but you get it firsthand. It ain't no you know script. <laughs> ain't nothing scripted. It ain't put together. It's real deal on the spot. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's dynamic. Because Thomas Freeman um, Jr. and um, Nate Banks Jr., um, they got this together. You know, Thomas is a great writer. Okay. You know, he's also one of the ones that um, he has a um, movie that he has finished called uh, 
Her Little Secret, which he had written as a book. And he, him and Danny Brown are also the ones that's the writers of the Chase Street okay. um, TV series, which they done dragged me into being judged. Yeah, but definitely <laughs> shout out to the Chase Street <laughs> filming. Like, it's, that's going to be one of the hottest joints, like, hands down. You know, so, you got that right. Yeah, hands you down. Know, I just text um, and inbox and, and Facebook Terrence Howard, let him know that Empire ain't got nothing on Chase Yo, Street. Yo, Chase Street is the truth. I'm letting y'all know. If y'all don't know, y'all know now. Big Tone, a.k.a. Panda, is telling you Chase Street is the truth. <laughs> real talk. You know, so, Big Tone, a.k.a. Panda, says, you know, it must be real. Yeah. I say it, too. Yeah. You know, um, you know, I got to say one thing about you, too. You know, you, um, you work with the best. Because, you know, I heard it through the grapevine that you've been recording at Bobby Eli's oh, yeah. facility. Oh, and yeah. Bobby Eli, I've known for 100 years, you know, he was a great sound of Philadelphia guy. He wrote songs like uh, Love Won't Let Me Wait. That's right. You know, among many others. That's right. And uh, Luther Vandross made a hit out of it before that Major okay. Harris did, who he originally wrote it for. That's right. Friend of mine there, uh, Dal Fitzgerald Walker, who's in Los Angeles, who's a great writer and a great singer. He wants to redo it again, and more likely it'll be on Soul Records, which okay. I'm fortunate to have now. Okay. Which is formerly Motown's label, with Gladys Knight, Junior Walker, Jimmy Ruff, and all them. Okay. And so, I mean, you, you know, you, you, you have yourself around the right individuals. You know, I know birds of a feather flock together. It may be intentional, it may be accident, but naturally, that's what happened, and you are truly one of them guys. Yeah, man. There's no question about that. Yeah, definitely. The Bobby is, is, all I can say is, I've been to, um, I've been to a lot of studios. I've been to, I've been around a lot of people who, who call themselves producers. Um, after I met Bobby, the bar was set, and that's it. Like, the bar was set with Bobby Eli, and he taught me, and molded me, and, and basically, um, made me a part of who I am. Big Tony K. Panda, like, like, he really... He's been around the greatest. Um, yeah, he has. You know, matter of fact, let know. me let me um, break one minute. You know, so when our sponsors know what time it is. Okay. We got to always let them do their thing because we love your sponsors. Uh, we'll be right back in one second with my great guest, Tone, aka Panda. <laughs> Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facial, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717 extension 203 when you think of rv think of lisa kelly when it's time for jersey mics to give a sub some sizzle this is the way the way it's always been 
The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra Innings, where the game never ends. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. Welcome back to Soul Records Presents After the Show with my very, very special guest, Tone, a.k.a. Panda. You know, and you know, I gotta say this, you know, he's from Jersey, you know, from Lower Side, and the old mommy saying, hey, you know, Kenny Gamble and the Romeos used to perform there, you know, stars are made everywhere, and you truly a bright and shining star. You know, before we took the break, we you know we were talking about you know where you record most of your stuff at, uh -huh. and I told you through the grapevine I heard you've been doing everything over at Bobby Eli's. Right. And Bobby Eli, as I said previously, you know he's a genius songwriter. He's made hits for a lot of people, and and, and um, he did um, "Love Won't Let Me Wait" was one of them. Right. Now, matter of fact, how did you even meet Bobby Eli? I met Bobby Eli through uh, one of my managers uh, by the name of David Thompson. He was in the group uh, uh, People's Choice uh, with the hit song, Do It Any Way You Wanna. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, these are the type, these are the people who made Big Tone, AKA Panda, who I am today. Um, I paid attention and, and I followed until I got a chance to leave, you know, but I was taught by the best. Um, and, and in this business, uh, you learn as much as you can. You become a sponge and you learn as much as you can. And you gotta know who the cops and the robbers are, you know, uh, and, and that way you know how to deal with them accordingly. You, you know how to deal with them, and you know what to expect. Um, and that was the first thing that they taught me, is know who you're dealing with. That way it ain't no surprises. You know this guy's good, you know what to expect from him. You know this guy's bad, you know where, how, what distance you gotta keep him and how to deal with him. Um, but as far as, as, as the introduction, he introduced me to Bobby, and I was off to the races. Bobby told me when he first heard me, he said, you're a star and you are going to make it all the way. And it was something about the way he said it to me that helped me believe even more. Cause I was already, like I already had in my mind that I'm, I'm making this happen. Cause my mother taught me that anything I put my mind to, I claim it and I own it. Don't say, I think I'm gonna do it. Say, this is what I'm gonna do and this is how it's gonna get done. When Bobby got to me and he said what he said to me, it was like a spirit thing. Um, I don't I don't know no other way to put it, but um, you know, in the booth, he 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 would coordinate while he was on the board, and he would be like, Nah, uh uh, uh uh, give it to me. You know what I mean? And it was just the way he said it, and my delivery changed, and and, and my speech changed when I was inside the booth and. You know, I did this thing they call, and only, only real music artists know this, it's called riding the vibe, riding the wave, like you leave your body, and you watch yourself, and he taught me how to do that, you know what I mean, and ever since I learned how to do it, that's what I do when I write, I watch me perform, 
so I can know whether or not I want to watch this dude or not. If anybody else in the crowd, I know that if I want to watch it, everybody else want to watch it. So I perform like that because my stage performance is crazy. I'm a big dude, you know what I mean? But I know it's not just about standing there. You have to make people feel like they're a part of what you're doing. You know, and I keep it 100. I keep it real with everything that I write, you know. So, um, you know, in working with Bobby, he taught me a lot. Him and David Thompson, um, they really made me who I am today, yeah, man. That's something, because, I mean, you know, I mean, because you're working with the, the best. Right. You know, Bobby Eli is truly one of the best, you know what I mean? You know, um, sound Philly for the national they yes. use him. Yes. You know, everybody used Bobby, you know, he's a... He's a great guitar player too, right? You know, and I'm mean, jack of all trades yeah. when it comes to music. You know, yeah. You know, yeah. That's a, yeah. He really is. Yeah. And uh, and he's a, he's a good guy. You know, I mean, you know, I've heard a lot of people say things about him that wasn't great, but everyone that said something about him that wasn't great, the ending was that they made them great. Success, exactly. Because <laughs> there it is. So there it is. I say, well, if he made you great, then he was great. Right. <laughs> so, Period. Yeah. You know, you know I mean? at so, the end of the day, uh, you get, you, listen, <laughs> here's the bottom line. And I'm going to tell you something. That's my man's. Bobby Eli is definitely my man's. You pay like you weigh. Ain't no cutting corners. You know, if you want, if you want a deal, if you want, you know, uh, 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 half behind, then go somewhere else. Because when you come to him, you got to be correct. If you're not giving him 100% of you and what you want and pay for what you want, how you want it, then you don't want a professional. He's a professional. Yeah, that he is. Definitely you know that. What I mean? He's a um, professional. So. Uh, let me take one break for one minute. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a break for a minute. We'll be right back with Tone, a.k.a. Panda. Today's show is sponsored by Hardgrove Demolition, your demolition experts. Hardgrove is a family-owned and operated business right here in the southern New Jersey area, bringing you 45 years of demolition expertise. Hardgrove has all your demolition needs, from emergency demolition service to demolition equipment rental. Hardgrove is one of the state-approved recycling facilities right here in the southern New Jersey area. No job is too big or too small for Hardgrove Demolition. Contact them today at one of their three locations. When I was injured, I couldn't play basketball for my entire sophomore year. After years of wear and tear, I knew something was seriously wrong with Deja's knee when the swelling wouldn't go down. Young athletes are still growing. They need specialized care only available here at Dayton Children's. I wanted the best care for Deja because I wanted her to return to the thing that she loves to do, and that's basketball. At Dayton Children's Sports Medicine, we're treating tomorrow's champions. Right care. Right now. Right here. Dayton Children's. Just right for kids. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by Farmers Insurance in Voorhees, New Jersey. To protect your assets and the people you love, call Mike Skoranek, your local Farmers Insurance agent, at 856-336-2553. Welcome back again to Soul Records Presents After the Show with my very special guest, Tone, a.k.a. Panda, who I have here with me today. Um, you know, before we took a break, I, I know we were talking about Bobby Eli, but um, something I, have, I meant to bring up, because, uh, you know, on the um, Internet, Reverb Nation, and all those other, um, you know, musical outlets, you know, I heard it through the grapevines, you was number one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this is true. Um, I was number one for about two months, two and a half months. Um, um, 450 globally. Really? Um, and never dropped anything, never dropped anything new on FM. Everything was internet. So How about that? that was like a really big accomplishment. 
accomplishment, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my team really pushes hard and we promote every day. That's um, amazing. Yeah. You know, that was that's really, really great that you could have you know, you. climbed the ladder like that. Yeah. Um, you Thank know, I know there's a thing called, I think, Hands Across uh, Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, that's with uh, Romeo. Um, it's Hands Across the Philadelphia. You can check him out on uh, Facebook, Romeo's Hotspot. You know what I'm saying? Um, he has an event coming up, and he's bringing everybody together, man. You know, um, we got to stop this violence out there. You know what I mean? Um, you know, not just black black lives matter, but all lives matter. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And two wrongs don't make a right. You know what True. I'm saying? Um, I don't like what's going on and how they, how they treat us and what they're doing. But I don't like how we act. You know, um, it's, it's just we used to go about things. Um, and, you know, me personally, I have a cousin that just became a police officer. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he's a good dude. Yeah, yeah, you know a lot of saying? good dudes. So it's a lot of good, it's a yeah, lot of good people know, out there. Man, you know, yeah, yeah. The bunch, yeah. You know, you're correct doing that. Right, so. You know? But everybody check him out. He has an event coming up. Um, like I said, his name is, um, you know, um, Stacy, Stacy Lockhart. And um, it's Hands Across Philadelphia. And you can check him out on Romeo Hotspot. Uh, I'm also dealing with uh, Rhonda Supreme. Yeah, yeah. Rhonda Supreme, yeah. She's, a, she's a good woman. Yeah. She handles a, a lot. She's involved with quite a few things. Yeah, on the grind radio. And um, she's also doing um, um, the, the Miss the, um, Miss Black America. Yeah, the Miss Black America pageant. Yeah. Right, right. Um, yeah. And that's, that's going to be huge, you know. These are the people that I deal with, too. Like, these are the people in my camp. You know, she's part of my management team. Stacy, he has his own, uh, his his radio station I deal with. You know, these are people that support me and I support them, man. Um, along with uh, Jamie Francis, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hip Hop. You know what I'm saying? Um, they have a show, you can find her at The Fox. The Fox 2 on Instagram, Twitter, mm -hmm. any of that. Um, also, I want to I wanna talk about uh, uh, Cindy Trotter. You know what I mean? And Fire from Air It Out Radio. You know what I'm saying? They all, you know, have been fundamental in, in me being who I am. And having events like at the Black and Noble and, and making it so that artists can come and have a platform. You know. You know, um, you know, if you get well, I ain't gonna say if you get a chance, I would like for you to let the audience know where they may be able to find you or locate you, because I'm <laughs> sure there's somebody looking that they want to get a hold of. Y'all can get, y'all can find me. Um, Google me, nah. <laughs> y'all can find me on uh, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, under Big Tone, um, AKA Panda, 4TLOM. Big Tone, AKA Panda, is everything. All you gotta do is put it in, it'll pop up. Twitter, at Bear Anthony, Instagram, Big Tone, 4TLOM, you know. So um, that's how you can find me. You know what I mean. Other than that, you can just say my name. You can say my name out loud, and I'll come. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's that yeah. name. Yeah. You know, um, you, had you been um, doing anything in like any appearances in Philly or anything? Oh yeah. Somebody um, might even catch you at. Um, I have an event coming up at Black and Noble. Okay. Um, right off of Broad Street. Um, I have. An event coming up um, that they're putting together. I don't know if I can say the name just yet. Uh, well, they're supposed to be putting something together with Buster. Let me just, I just opened up for KRS One down in Baltimore, mm -hmm. but they're supposed to be putting something together with Buster. I'm waiting to see what happens with that. Okay. But we have some, some events, some showcases coming up uh, where I'm going to make, make it so that um, artists can come out and perform. And, and get the exposure. You know, you know when so. you mentioned Nobles, when, when are you going to be there? Um, I believe that's August 20th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but you can definitely um, check it out on Facebook or, you know, it's, it's all over Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, you can go on my page, Big Tone 14 on Web, Anthony Jenkins page, or uh, Jamie DeFox. Uh, Rhonda Supreme, Carol Lloyd, any of those names, um, and find it. Joe Belinda Brown, you can find it. Any information about me, 
Uh, they're all part of the uh, Fort Yellow One team, which is for the love of music. And by the way, uh, Big Toad, a.k.a. Panda. Panda stands for people always need dedicated artists, just in case y'all didn't know. Uh, but yeah, that's how y'all can find me. And any events that um, are coming out, I'll definitely let you know. Yeah, and, please. You know, you can put it out there. Come through the whole will. team. Come, come yeah. VIP with me, baby. Yeah, he's uh, definitely a guy to, to, to wreck you with. And you're truly, truly a, a great artist. Thank you very much. You're a great inspiration that. to a lot of other people, people who know you. Right. You know, I haven't heard nobody say nothing bad about you. That's a good thing. Can, <laughs> I, say, can I say one more thing? Yes, absolutely. Um, it wouldn't be right. I just want to um, I want to let everybody know that, you know what I mean, it takes a family, it takes a village to raise these kids. You know what I mean? Um, I'm really big on, you know, making sure that, you know, our, our, our youth um, stay focused, you know, stay in school and do what they need to do. Um, and just give them that that push that they need and support that they need. Let's keep them off the street to keep them safe, you know, um, and and just teach them them home values that you know that they need to be whatever they want to be, and let them know that they can just because they're they're coming up and they might be in the hood or they might be in a situation where they don't have the best. Just let them know if you put your mind to it. You can do anything you want to do, claim it and own it, you know, and be that person. Um, I like to go to the schools and talk, man, and, and, and let them know that, you know, they see these rap artists and they see the cars and they see the life. There's so much more to it, you know, uh, and always have a plan B and a plan C, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it's not all about the lights and the fame. You know what I'm saying? It's about supporting your family and taking care of you as an individual and setting yourself up for life. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of things, it's a, you know, it's a lot that these artists, you know, they portray this image to the kids, but they're not giving them the food. You know what I mean? The meat behind it takes hard work and dedication. And that's anything that you put your mind to doing, you can do it. You know what I mean? And, and, and just because you're not a rap artist or you know, a, a R and B singer doesn't mean you're not a star. True. You know what I mean? You can shine at whatever you do and be the That's best and, and be happy. You know, so I just wanted to put that out there, man. It's, it's just really important That's that true. that that we um, you know, we reach back and you know, they're taking the education systems away from us, man, and they took prayer out of school and they took things that when I came up, you know, it was important, you know. Um a lot of the morals aren't being, you know, like the way my, shit, when I walk down the street, if I did something five five houses down and my neighbors see me. Well, unfortunately, yeah, you, know. you know, unfortunately, <laughs> got to go. It's all good. You know, had Big Tone here, Big Tone, a.k.a. Panda. You know, he was a yeah. guest today. Stay tuned to Soul Records Presents After the Show.